A new study by the Obstetrics and Gynecology Journal shows the Pfizer and Moderna COVID-19 vaccines do not affect fertility. The study involving IVF patients found that those who are vaccinated have the same fertility and pregnancy outcomes as patients who are unvaccinated. It follows a report posted by the CDC earlier this month saying that getting a COVID-19 vaccine while pregnant is safe. A study of 46,000 women showed the vaccine does not cause premature births or any other issues linked to infant deaths. For more on this, I want to bring in Dr. Sion Fairu. She is an emergency medicine doctor and an assistant professor of emergency medicine at Columbia University Medical Center. Dr. Fairu, thank you so much for being here. First of all, congratulations on your baby boy, Baruch. I understand he is healthy and happy and just plain beautiful. Uh, I, I want to tell our audience that you got your COVID-19 vaccine while you were pregnant. Was it a difficult decision for you? Can you tell us about, about making that choice? So uh, thank you for having me here. Um, I was uh, 24 weeks pregnant at the time, and I was one of those um, healthcare workers that was offered the vaccine early on. And this is in December 2020. So, um, of course, I took a few days to talk to my doctor, look at the data that was available. And I wasn't the first person to jump the line, of course. Uh, but then after, you know, discussing with my doctor and looking at the data, the data showed that um, it was reassuring that the people that received the vaccine uh, that became pregnant at the time had no complications or increased risk of miscarriage after receiving the vaccine. So I made the decision at that point. In hindsight, of course, now looking at the data that we have and the what you quoted from the CDC um, is showing that the vaccine does not um, have increased risk of miscarriage or also complications um, like uh, pre like eclampsia or miscarriage in general. So I went ahead and took the vaccine, and I think it was the right decision. And most of the data that's coming up right now is promising. So looking in hindsight, I think I made the right decision. And I encourage people to talk to their doctor and take the vaccine now that we have a lot of data in the past two years, and the data is more reassuring that we're seeing every day. He is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, our viewers got to see some beautiful little pictures of him. Uh, as the CDC now says that it's safe to get a COVID-19 vaccine while pregnant, that's the big takeaway. But just to be clear, are there any cases like a higher risk pregnancy where someone might want to hold back on getting a shot or should everyone who is pregnant expect uh, that the best course of action for them if they're unvaccinated is to get that vaccine? So the CDC um, and all the professional organizations, the American College of Gynecologists, uh, American Academy of uh, Pediatricians, oh, and also uh, so many other organizations are encouraging people that are pregnant to get the vaccine. The only exception at this point are people that have known allergies to mRNA vaccines are mm -hmm. excluded, and this is not only for pregnant people, but for just everyone in general. So it's highly encouraged for everyone who's pregnant because pregnancy puts you at a higher risk of having the complication if you do get the disease. So it's the best preventative um, measure that we have, and it's highly encouraged for pregnant women and people planning to be pregnant to take the vaccine. Well, we've been discussing getting a COVID shot while pregnant, but I want to ask about vaccinations when people are still trying. I, I hear about people who say they want to be uh, vaccinated, but they're hesitant because they are actively trying to conceive. What do you tell them, particularly when it comes to the question about risks to them and their baby if they get COVID while they're carrying a child? So most of the data from WHO and the CDC has shown that the vaccine does not cause infertility. Unfortunately, as we know, a lot of the vaccine hesitancy at this point is because of misinformation and because of people who are, you know, making money out of this or for politics reasons, people are advocating against the vaccine. And I would really encourage people to look at and get the evidence from healthcare providers and also from the CDC and other other professional organizations. And, you know, I work in the emergency department. I see pregnant women who are not vaccinated because they're hesitant and they come to the emergency department because of complication. And as we're seeing it right now, there are a lot of people who are in the intensive care unit with complication who are pregnant, did not get the vaccine. So we're seeing more and more cases and that is abundant all over the country.
pregnancy uh, naturally puts you at a higher risk of getting disease in general. So while you get, and if you get COVID at the, when you're pregnant, it puts you at a higher risk of becoming severely ill. I encourage people, it's all about, you know, weighing the benefits and the risk. At this point, you would want to avoid getting the COVID disease and being ended up in the ICU. So I really encourage people to get the vaccine. We really appreciate your firsthand experience. Dr. Sion Fairu, thank you. Thank you.